welcome back to my channel and welcome if you are new here. My name is Cheryl. I love decorating my home with style on a budget and I love to try to make it look a lot more expensive than it really is. One of the ways I do that is by budget shopping, budget thrifting, clearance shopping, upcycling. Any way I can save money, your girl does it. So if you love decorating your home with style on a budget as well, it's the channel for you. If you have not yet subscribed, I would so appreciate it if you would hit the subscribe button, tap the notification bell, and become a member of the iStyle My Style family. So guys, I want to thank you so, so much for all the love and the support and the comments that you guys have shown on my last couple of videos. It just warms my heart. It, it, I greatly, greatly appreciate it. You don't know how much it means to me that you guys love those videos so much. Um, it was a lot of fun putting them together, a lot of fun making them, and I just love the, the love and support that you have shown those videos. So again, thank you so, so much. I greatly, greatly appreciate it. Now, today's video is actually going to be a home decor Black Friday haul. It's a what I am loving or what I loved in my home for the month of November. I know this video is a little late, but I've been putting out the Christmas videos. So I didn't get a chance to film what I love in my home for the month of November. So that is what we are going to discuss today. So one of the things that, and this is going to actually be a holiday edition because, you know, the things I have been buying lately have been centered around the holiday. And I must say, I have absolutely loved everything that I picked up. So first, we are going to start, where are we going to start? We are going to be reviewing this Christmas tree that was sent to me by Vivor. It is a seven and a half foot, I think it's a colored lights tree. I don't really do colored lights. Um, so we'll see how we like it. Um, they did send me a flocked tree, but I am allergic to flocking. So they graciously agreed to send out one that did not have flocking. So we're gonna open up the box, put it together and see what we have. All right, so I've opened the box and it comes with your standard tree stand. So we'll go ahead and put this together and we'll set up the tree. The bag also comes with these little, I guess they're like metal screws to support the tree after you put it in the stand. All right, so now I'm going to put on the base of the tree. It is quite large and maybe too large for my space. All right, so this is how the base of the tree is looking. Um, I don't know. It's kind of bare in the middle portion because all of the tips are on the ends of the tree. And I'm not really a fan of the lights. I'm a white light girl, not colored lights. I wish there was the option to switch between the two, like um, some of your more, or the newer trees have that um, effect. And this is just a little too large for the space, but I'll finish setting it up and finish telling you what I think of the tree. 
All right, so I've put this middle section of the tree on and I think that's as far as I'm going because unfortunately the tree is just not, it's not meshing with my style because of the colored lights. And then two, no matter how much fluffing you do, you're gonna see the branches in the middle. You see that? There's no, there's no stems in the back. They're just in the front. So it leaves these large opening gaps. And I am not a fan of that. I'm sorry, Vivor. This tree is not the one. Um, I wish I could open up the flock tree to give you my opinion on it. But unfortunately, I'm allergic to flocking. However, the good news is that Sandy from my sister cousin's lifestyle did also receive a tree from Vivor and she did a review of it at her parents' house and that tree did look really, really nice. So go over to Sandy's channel to check out the flocked tree. It looked really nice and she has a discount code for you. If you don't mind, the look of this tree with the colored lights, I will also leave it linked down below in case you're looking for a tree. I think right now they have like 10% um, off on the tree, if I'm not, not mistaken. If that is incorrect, I will leave the discount amount right here at the bottom of the screen. But yeah, unfortunately this will not work for me. But Vivor, thank you for sending over the trees. I greatly appreciate it. Again, go check out Sandy's channel. I'll leave it linked down below where she did a review of the flock tree. So you can go check it out. It's not a really big haul, guys. I am, I'm not buying a lot of stuff. I'm trying not to buy a lot of stuff. I don't need any more stuff. The things that I'm picking up, I want to be able to use, you know, more than for just the holiday, even though there are some items that are holiday specific. So we're gonna start off the video with my holiday specific items. You guys know that I have been decorating my home for Christmas. And again, you guys are loving the content, but if you are new here, missed any of my videos, I did a Christmas morning theme. I did a theme here in my entryway that was uh, Rebecca Robeson inspired. It's kind of over the top. You can see a little bit of it here. I did a uh, CB2 inspired Christmas tree in my family room. I did a New York apartment um, in my loft. I absolutely loved how all of the things have turned out and you guys are loving them as well. But if you have missed any of those videos, I will leave a playlist link down below so you can make sure to go check them out. You are sure to get lots of inspiration from the from those videos. I They are theme related but I love putting them together and you guys seem to enjoy watching them. So thank you so, so much. Okay, so to get back to today's haul, the Christmas related items I wanna talk about are, I still have one more Christmas tree to decorate. So when I saw these at um, Home Goods, I had to pick them up. These were so, so nice. And they are by Rachel Zoe. They are glass ornaments, a set of nine, and they were $14.99. So $15 for nine of them. And look how pretty they are. They have like a golden, this is a bronzy type color. This is a, like a, I don't know, a pearlescent type color. This one is like gold. So, so pretty. So I'm going to put another tree by my dining room table and I thought these would be perfect. They would complement our CB2 inspired Christmas tree that are, that's in the family room. So I went ahead and picked these up. And as you guys know, again, I am inspired by CB2 and they have these gold trees that I absolutely fell in love with, but yeah, I didn't want to spend the money to pick them up. So what I did do is while I was at Home Goods one day, I saw these. And these trees are from Tahari Home and they're candle holders, but they look very similar to those trees from CB2, but without the high price tag. So this tree was $9.99 and then this tree was $7.99. And they look very similar to the ones 
from CB2 and I'll put up that pricing here. But these, oh my gosh, so, so nice. So they are candle holders, but again, they are giving us the Lux look for less. So I absolutely love these. All right, now the other item that I am absolutely loving in my home is my Caraway cookware. Guys, this cookware is one of the best cookware sets I have ever had. So Caraway reached out to me a few months ago and wanted to know if I wanted to collaborate with them and review their new cookware. So I was totally on board and I'm so happy I did. I got their cookware set in this gray color with um, silver handles and it is so aesthetically pleasing in my kitchen and not only that it cooks really well and it's also non-toxic so this is the saucepan and guys these pans are very very heavy now the one thing i will say that this cookware gets really hot so where a am I'm, like it's made of metal so when you're cooking anything in it like stews or sauces where the cookware is going to get hot make sure you use a mitt when you lift it you know off to check whatever you're cooking lift the lid off <laughs> to check whatever you're cooking because it does get hot but other than that I absolutely love my cookware set and Caraway not only offers cookware they offer bakeware serveware prepware Anything you want, they they have it on their site. And they have extended their Cyber Monday holiday sale. So you can get up to 20% off any of their cookware, their serveware, their bakeware. And it's perfect for a holiday gift. Now, I would say if you want to give it as a holiday, holiday gift, you need to hurry and order it now so that it arrives in time for Christmas. But you know, it is an investment. So I want to say um, a full set of cookware will run you around 300, 350, um, maybe even a little more depending on what you get. But if you're budget conscious and you cannot spend that much right now, they do have, I think, a flex pay that you can use. I'll double check that, but I think they have, there's like a, when you check out, you could use a firm, I think, or shop pay, one of those. Um, so you can extend the payments over a period of time, but if that's still too much for you, they also have a section where you can buy something that's under $50 to give as a gift or just for yourself. So I absolutely love Caraway. I love the brand. I love what they stand for. I love having non-toxic cookware, serveware, you know, bakeware. I know you will love it too. And yeah, I got some as a gift and I cannot wait to give it. So yeah, make sure you click my link down below where you are sure to get up to 20% off. And yeah, it's the perfect holiday gift. So right now is the best time to buy it. All right, so the other items that I picked up that I'm absolutely loving that are Christmas related are these little churches that I picked up from Walmart. This one is kind of square. This one is tall, but I thought these were so cute and you can use these to hold some tea lights or just use them by themselves. This one was $6.98 and this one was $7.98. But they are so, so cute. Love, love, love these. So if you have not finished decorating and you might, you think you might be able to incorporate these into your home decor, I would highly recommend them. They are little churches and just so, 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 so cute. These little churches are so, so nice. So I did pick those up and I think I'm going to style them in the kitchen. Um, I might show, well, the kitchen decorating video is coming up next, so you'll see how I use them. Next, I wanted to share with you these metal reindeer that I picked up from Pop Shop. I forgot to show you these when I picked these up. These were $5 a piece, but when I picked them up, um, Christmas was 50% off, so I got these for $2.50 a piece, so $5 each. And they are very similar to the ones from 
Pottery Barn, and I'll put up that photo. No, it was Pottery Barn or Crate and Barrel. I think it was Crate and Barrel, but I'll put up that pricing here. And you can see how expensive they were from Crate and Barrel. And we only paid $5 for ours, and they are very similar. Crate and Barrel has a taller one. This one I say is a medium and a small one. Are, these are very comparable in size to the ones from Crate and Barrel, but without the high cost tag. You guys know I love to get the Lux look for less. And if you are enjoying today's video so far, please make sure to give the video a big thumbs up. And if you have not yet subscribed, I would so appreciate it if you would hit the subscribe button, tap the notification bell, and become a member of the iStyle My Style family. Now, the next thing I want to show you, uh, that is all of the Christmas related items. All right, and the other thing that I am loving in my home that we picked up on Black Friday is this air fryer. I previously had an air fryer here by Fika that I um, we did a collaboration with them. Um, it was black and copper. My kitchen is stainless steel, so it really didn't blend well with the kitchen, but it was an awesome air fryer. We absolutely loved it. We cooked everything in that thing. But when we saw this one show up on Black Friday, it was black and stainless steel. It matches our other appliances. We thought, hey, why not go ahead and get it? I want to say this was $50, I want to say. I'll check and see if it's still available online. Of course, it won't be the Black Friday sale price, but um, if you're interested in a new air fryer, this might be something you'd want to um, take a look at. So. It has several settings. It has air fry, it has fries, wings, bacon, seafood, vegetables. It has bake, roast, broil, and dehydrate. So we can make our own jerky if we wanted to. Reheat and warm. So I'm very excited about this new appliance and I cannot wait to use it. Um, the other thing we picked up on Black Friday was this um, espresso machine. My boyfriend loves espresso and this one is by the same brand. It's Gorma or yeah, Gorma. And it has, you can make an espresso, a cappuccino, a latte, Americano, or you can just make a regular coffee. Um, I think you can make a regular coffee. I need to read the manual, but that little cup, maybe it's just espresso. Uh, and you can froth. So absolutely looking forward to using this. I have already cleaned it. And I think after this video, I'm going to make myself a latte and we'll see how well this does. But I love the design. I love the aesthetic appearance. Again, it's black and stainless. It goes well with the other appliances here in the kitchen. I wanna say this one was a little more expensive. I don't remember the price, but I'll put it up here on the screen. And if it's still available, I will leave it linked down below in my description box. Now, some home decor pieces that I am absolutely loving in my home for the month of November. I know this is a little late, but yay, better late than never are these candle holders. So I originally saw these on Rebecca Robeson's channel when she did her Christmas reveal. I want to say it was her family room or her living air her living room area but um I really fell in love with these and you guys know I love to get a bargain and I love to get the Lux look for less so when she showed these and they were available for from Amber Marie and co I went to look them up and the price was too steep for my blood so I decided to go to Google Lens and see if I could find them elsewhere. If you guys don't know, when you see something on that is being sold by someone, chances are 75%, I would say, that same item is going to be sold by other sellers. It might just be under a different name. So that's what I did here. 
I went to Google Lens. Um, I showed the photo. It brought up the different stores that carried these candle holders. One of them being Amazon, but one of them also being Home Depot. And Home Depot had them at a really affordable price. I want to say this one I got for $60 maybe $65 and the smaller one I got for $50. So all three of them I remember were $177 and for the size and the quality, I did not think that was a very bad price at all. The last I looked, they were no longer available at Home Depot, but if you take a photo of these and go to Google Lens, it will tell you where you can find them and you can go check to see if they were still available. But I absolutely love these. And then aside, I have some glass um, candles that I picked up from Amazon. I wanna say they were like $25 for three and they're just clear battery operated candles that look really, really nice in here. I don't have to worry about fire or the glass being heat resistant i don't i don't know if they are or not i threw the box away before reading but it doesn't matter in this case because we have these full candles and i absolutely love the way they look here Oh, I forgot to tell you one thing that I picked up that I absolutely love that is Christmas related is the Santa. He was $47.99 or $48.99, $49.99. That's how much he was. And look at his detail. So, so nice. He comes with a little teddy bear. He has his little backpack full of toys. So, so nice. Now, I saw something similar in Home Goods, and it was $179.99. It was five feet tall, the same as this Santa, and I only paid $50 for mine. So this came from Home Depot. Do not sleep on Home Depot, guys. You can find a lot of really good things at Home Depot. Who knew? I'm late to the game. Maybe you already knew, but I didn't, so... I love this Santa, and I'm glad I picked him up. Now, the other items I picked up, I wanted to be able to use in my home for a while. So, you guys know I'm also inspired by the House of Valentina, and she's always showing these really nice throws. Well, she showed one throw that she picked up from Amazon, and I want to say when she originally showed it, the throw was like, 80 or 90 dollars i don't remember um but yeah that's too it was too high for my blood however during black friday they had this blanket on sale for i want to say 60 dollars or 67 something i don't know if i can find the price i'll, I'll list it on the screen but this is the blanket it's faux fur but it's black and white and I thought this would look really nice in the living room so I am going to style this up in the living room you guys know I blacked out my living room for fall and I also kept it that way for Christmas so the living room is all blacked out and I think it would look this blanket with the faux fur would look so so nice in that blacked out room so i picked it up again even on sale it was still a little pricey but it was better than paying the 90 dollars. you guys know i try to save money where i can but there are times where i will splurge a little bit but don't tell my boyfriend <laughs> you will say why did you spend that much money on a blanket and i will say but it's so pretty and he'll say it's not worth $60. So don't tell him. But anyway, also I thought this blanket was really nice. Now I had ordered this one before the faux fur one went on sale. This one came from TJ Maxx online. I don't know if you would be able to find this in store at Marshalls or at Home Goods. They're all sister stores, so you may, but it was $19.99. And it's a very soft material. Um, and it's black and white, you guys know. Black and white 
are my signature colors. I love the window panes in it, so I had to go ahead and pick it up. Absolutely love it. All right, and then the very last thing that I wanna share with you that I absolutely love in my home for the month of November is the oversized TV that my boyfriend got on Black Friday. Guys, getting that TV made us switch everything around in our loft and it made such a dramatic difference. Oh my gosh, it's so more open, it's open, it's light, it's airy. I call it my New York loft apartment. Um, it is just so, so nice, guys. So that TV, I would have to say, of everything that I picked up for the month of November is my most favorite thing that we that we got. So those are all of the home decor items that I am loving in my home for the month of November. Yeah, leave me a comment down below. Let me know, did you pick up anything for Black... Oh, yeah, that's everything. <laughs> I was going to say, did I forget anything? You know how your mind goes a mile a minute and you're thinking, did I get everything? But yeah. So leave me a comment down below. Let me know, did you pick up anything for Black Friday? If so, what did you pick up? Did you get a lot of steals, a lot of deals? Um, I picked up a lot of presents for my family that I need to wrap. They're sitting here underneath the tree. And yeah, that's one of the things that I don't really love is having to wrap presents for Christmas. Leave me a comment down below. Let me know. Are you, do you love to wrap presents or would you rather just have them arrived wrapped or in a bag? I'd rather have them arrived wrapped in an, or in a bag. But there are times where you do want to do something a little special and you want to wrap it yourself and give it a little personalized touch. So I don't know. I might do something like that this year um, on a few, on a few gifts, but otherwise they're just going to be <laughs> speedily wrapped up and put underneath the tree. So enough rambling guys. I hope you have enjoyed today's video. If so, give it a big thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe because my next video will be my Christmas kitchen decorate with me that you don't want to miss. I think we'll give you some inspiration and then it's going to be our Christmas home tour. And before you know it, it's going to be Christmas. So, oh my gosh, it's going by so fast, so, so fast. Well, guys, that's all I have for you today. I hope you have an awesome day, and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye-bye, guys.